Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another tutorial in Armour 3 Eden Editor and this one's in response to a question from Roman Markolov who's asked how to complete a mission when all the OP4 troops have been killed. So let's get started with that. So I've placed down a playable unit, you can have a single unit or you can have um, a group, it's really up to you. Um, if you're not all that familiar with the editor, um, up the top here on the right hand side you've got F1 which is a single unit or you can go to F2 which is groups. So if I was to select, I've got a single player down now, but if I was to select a group it would place a group of troops down just like that. But I'm not going to use those for the purposes of this tutorial. I also placed down some OP4 troops over here who are Russian troops and as I'm testing this it's probably a great idea to double click on the playable unit and scroll down until you get to the object special states and uncheck enable damage so that um, and then click OK so that this troop can't be killed by those guys just for testing purposes. Um, obviously you'd want to change that back when you're actually going to run the mission. So we've got our troops over here. What we'll do, if you remember the task tutorial video, is I'll go to Systems, Intel, Create Task. So I'll place the task down and we'll make this task owner of all playable units task ID I'm just going to put task 1 title of the task I'll just put clear the area of enemy and I'll set it to assigned and OK now um, we can leave that as it is for the assignment of the task for our side uh, or we can place down a trigger which is something I always uh, like to do. So I'll place down a trigger and inside this trigger if we open it up we can go to activation any player present and then we just right click connect sync to the task and we'll place that over here and if you press spacebar four times you can actually change the shape and height of the task okay now we need a way to complete the task and again we'll go to systems intel set task state and we can place this anywhere open it up and change it to succeeded right click connect sync to the created task module and next we're going to place down a trigger and we'll make it a hundred meters in size and we need to make sure our op4 troops are inside the trigger Now in the trigger, we need to open that up and the activation type for that trigger needs to be OP4 not present. Click OK. Then we right click on the trigger, sync to the set task state. So what will happen is our player will run through the trigger which will activate the task and when all the OP4 troops have been destroyed this trigger will then detect that OP4 is not present and complete the task. So let's see. Okay so we've got the trigger just in front of us. We'll start to move towards that. There you go, the trigger's fired because blue 4 is present 
and we've got a task to clear the enemy of area approximately 100 meters to our front. So that task is telling us that there's enemy in the area and we need to clear it. If you want to look at the details of the task you press J for Juliet which is the default and it will give you task clear the enemy and you can add ad additional details and I've just put clear the area. So we're advancing towards where the enemy are. I can see one there so obviously we want to use cover to advance. Stack up on the corner. And there we go. The task is completed because all of the OP4 troops have been eliminated. The other way we can do this is have a variable name for one particular troop. So for example, if like this is the leader of this group, if we double click on him and give him a variable name, let's call him Ivan because he's Russian, click on OK, then we go back to the trigger which the OP4 are in and we change this from activation OP4 not present to none and in condition we put in exclamation mark alive Ivan semicolon so whilst Ivan is alive the task won't complete once he has been eliminated it will complete a point to note with this is that we don't need a sized trigger at all to use this method so we can actually move this trigger all the way out here and we can reduce the size to nothing it really doesn't matter so I'll move this a little closer to save some time and you'll notice that the task will only complete once the team leader with a variable name of Ivan has been eliminated let's see. okay so just to demonstrate this, there's our task. I'm going to take out everyone except Ivan initially, who is the team leader. So that's the team leader. We don't want to hit him first. We'll take out his fellow troops. And you can see I've taken those guys out, but Ivan is still up. But when he gets taken out, the task will complete. There we go. Now what I've done is I've placed down multiple groups to demonstrate one of the disadvantages of using the OP4 not present condition to complete the task. If you press M, it will bring you the overhead map view and you can see that the trigger covers this area here and within that area we've got um, all of our units, all of our enemy units. One of the disadvantages is that when the enemy see you they will start to maneuver and take cover. There is a high likelihood that they may, whilst they're maneuvering, move outside of the trigger area which will actually complete the task because OP4 won't be present in the trigger area. Another disadvantage is that, um, particularly if there's buildings around, it may take your players some time to complete the task because they may not be able to find all of these guys straight away. So I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so our task creation trigger is just in front of us. We can already see enemy troops moving off. They will patrol around. And once they see me, they will start to maneuver and move around the area. So again, this task won't complete until all the OP4 are taken out. And you can see they're now maneuvering around. And there's three groups here. I need to take out all three. And as you can see, these guys 
are going to maneuver when I start to engage them. So it may see he's now running off. He may actually, that unit may actually run outside the trigger area, which will complete the task without you having destroyed all of them. Uh, they can also hide in buildings and it may take your players quite some time to find all of the enemy troops to complete the task. It's just something you've got to be aware of. One way you can uh, avoid them running outside of the trigger area is to increase the size of the trigger. so they're less likely to run out of the trigger. However, uh, they may move into buildings and it may take your players some time to locate them. I was also asked recently about how to make sure your players cross triggers to activate tasks, particularly the first task. And the simple way I do it in my missions is if I place an ammo box between your placed units and the trigger, I promise you that your troops will go to the ammo box. It's just what players do because they want to find or swap out gear and if you place an ammo box between your player and the trigger or even place the ammo box into the trigger they will definitely go into it which will fire the task. So that is how you do it. If you have any questions or this wasn't clear or you require further clarification, uh, just let me know. Thank you to Roman Markolov for the question. And if you've enjoyed this content and it's been helpful, please give us a like and a subscribe and consider throwing a couple of bucks into Patreon for me uh, to assist with producing further content if you are able and willing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.